Hey YouTube, I want to do a quick video to talk about what I just talked about in a previous live stream. We were talking about Curve Optimizer on Ryzen, and I did want to kind of clarify this new feature on the Gigabyte Oris motherboard. So this applies to the Agisa 1004 update that's available. So they call it, it's a really weird name, it's called Performance Bung. You can see it right there, I've highlighted it. it essentially what it is, um, from my own testing, because the documentation on this is very sparse, there's like really nothing really talking about it other than the fact that in the description um, it says, you know, down there at the bottom, different boost levels, level 1, level 2, L3, 4, and 5 for three targeted CPU temperatures, 70, 80, or 90 degrees Celsius. Users are suggested to choose the one that works best for their specific system. So basically what this means is it is a, a preset list um, for the curve optimizer and the PBO settings um, for a given temperature. So for example, you can see I have mine set to 80, that's in degrees Celsius, so 80 Celsius level two. Um, if you wanna know what that maps out to, basically what I had to do was I set it to one of the values. So you can see here in the menu, it shows you know, either disabled, which is the default, and there's 90, which would be 90 degrees Celsius, uh, level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then 80 Celsius, 1 through 5, and then 70 Celsius, 1 through 5. So what this means is that if you set it to a number, like in this case, 80, level 2, if you go to advanced CPU settings and then check the precision boost overdrive, you'll notice that in, the, in here where it says platform thermal throttle control, they'll automatically have set it to manual, and the thermal throttle limit has now been set to 80. Now the only way to see these changes is to save. Basically what you have to do is you have to set one of the values, save the config changes, and then let it post. But then if you want to see the changes before it goes into Windows, you go back into the BIOS, and then you go to Advanced CPU Settings, and then you will see what it actually set. So in this case, 80 level 2 corresponds to a thermal temperature limit of 80, um, but then it also, in under cu Curve Optimizer, it sets an all-core negative offset with a optimizer magnitude offset value of 20. So basically a negative 20 offset on the Curve Optimizer, um, and the CPU is not supposed to exceed 80 degrees Celsius. So that's what that one does. So for example, if we went to 90 level one, that's going to equate to uh, you know, 90 degrees Celsius and a curve optimizer of negative 10. Um, so that's kind of what this does. Um, you guys see me doing it manually that's because I didn't save it and exit. But here I'll, I'll give you guys an example. So let's do 80 level 1. And just to clear this one out, what I'll do is I'll set this to auto so that it's, you can see I've set it to auto and I've set this to level 1. So now you guys can see I'm going to save these changes. We're going to let it post and I want to get back in the BIOS so you can see it posted and then we're going to go back into the BIOS here so now it says 80 level 1 advanced CPU settings and under pre precision boost overdrive uh, see 80 and then curve optimizer and there you go it set an all core negative to 10 so it's it's more of like a I guess a shortcut way to specify, or I guess to use, to define a thermal limit and map that out to a, a curve optimizer negative offset. So that's kind of what this feature does. Uh, it's, I guess it's supposed to simplify using curve optimizer. Um, now the only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't account for, you know, offsets like, for example, negative 15. So it can't do that. Um, so if you want to do something like that, you're going to have to just still manually tune it yourself. I mean, it also doesn't do anything like per core either. So it's it's really just like a quick and dirty all core negative offset and that sort of thing. So it's kind of like um, it's almost like just turning on eco mode, but not really, um, because eco mode changes the power limits, whereas this is literally just using curve optimizer. So I hope you guys found this quick video. Uh, useful for those of you that are on a gigabyte Oris motherboard. I know the Oris Elite also has um, this BIOS update available. Um, but let me know if you guys try it out. Uh, and if you're on a different vendor motherboard, like for example, if you're on a Asus 
or MSI or ASRock. I'm curious to know if you guys have something like this as well on the latest BIOS. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, once again, thanks all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.